Good evening. How are you today? Is everything okay? Thank you, Luis, Gertrudis, and Elizabeth for being at, um, early for this session. We have Francisco too. Okay, Elizabeth Rout. Oh, you are on the way. Okay, um, that's fine, Elizabeth. Let us know when you're home and ready to participate. Okay, uh, Elizabeth has not the camera on because she is still, I don't know if she's driving or on the bus, but it is okay. And the rest of you? Remember that it is a mandatory to have your cameras on. And if you can't, ask Elizabeth, let us Hi, know everyone. the reason. Hello, Liz. Francisco, are you still having issues with the internet? Are you working? And what about Carlos? Okay, um, we have Abigail and Alexis joining too. Good night, teacher. Hello, how are you? Um, uh, so, so, teacher. You're not feeling well? Please, perdón, teacher. Okay, you are sick. Oh my God. Yes, um, um, a little sick. You're not feeling really well. well. <laughs> okay, thank you for letting us know. Um, <coughs> Okay, so I have Elizabeth que va de camino y Abigail que no se siente bien. Eh, los demás, si hay algún motivo particular por el cual no puedan encender la cámara, por favor, pónganlo en el chat. Acuérdense que eso no es que nosotros lo, lo, lo eh, exijamos así, sino que es insafort. Y han estado auditando los videos y están viendo que no hay participación y las cámaras están eh, mayormente apagadas. Entonces está llamando la atención esto de eh, quienes pues eh, patrocinan las becas. Entonces, um, Alexis, you are working. Ok, entonces pues escríbanlo en el chat para que pues de repente pues hay alguna justificación, ¿verdad? De lo contrario, pues recuerden que también para alcanzar el objetivo es importante la participación, eh, porque es de la única manera que podemos saber dónde mejorar, si el tema se comprendió, si no se comprendió y, y qué áreas debemos de trabajar más. Así es que no es como que digamos por por otra cosa más que por eso, ¿verdad? Por eh, propósitos académicos y que porque son también parte de los lineamientos, ¿verdad? Así como vieron que también eh, se mandó un mensaje eh, por parte de administración de, de acá de la academia, ¿verdad? Pidiéndoles y recordándoles nuevamente los lineamientos. Y uno de ellos es la, que estén las dos horas puntuales, participación, cámara, etcétera, ¿verdad? 
Okay, so thank you so much for being on time and we are going to start and remember if there is a particular reason to have the cameras off, um, writing on the meeting chat, please. Okay, I'm start sharing here. Um, we are almost finishing. Let's see, uh, today we are, let's see, today is Tuesday. So we're just missing five classes and we finished the module. And the topics that we have studied during the module number two intermediate is the present perfect. That was the first topic that we studied. Other clauses of time, transition words, and direct questions and requests. And this, the last topic that we are studying, the passive voice. Let me know, because I think that we will finish the covering the section for today, meaning that the rest of the days we are going to be reviewing. It's going to be a general review. Okay, uh, Carlos says she's on the way. Okay, Carlos, thank you so much. Um, this is going to be a general review of all these topics. If you want for me to start with a particular topic uh, for the review, let me know. Or if the topics that I mentioned, is there any, any of those topics in particular that is troubling you? Let me know and I will be glad to start with that review of that topic that you tell me tomorrow. Let me know by the end of tonight's session. And Almost wrapping up this topic, uh, remember the passive voice, we've been explaining that it's focused in the action, not in the doer. We were practicing the present continuous passive as well as the present perfect passive. We practice both. And here I included the, the grammar chart that we, um, that we were using for this. Um, so remember that in one clause, we have the effect. And in the second sentence or clause, we have the cause of this. So for example, we have the air is being polluted by fumes for cars and trucks. In this, uh, we are using the present continuous. When you see the verb be, am um, is are, it's that we are going to be the using the passive voice in present continuous, and it is formed by verb be, then been, and then the word in. In what tense is it? Present, past, or what is the tense that we're using? Participle, mm -hmm. the verb in past participle. That is how we form the present continuous passive. There be, meaning an is R. Then we add being, and then the verb in past participle. If it is present perfect passive, we use the auxiliary have or has, and then been, and then the verb in past participle. And in the next sentence, we introduce the cause using these words that we have involved here as an example. Now, the exercise is this. We have in this part of the screen, this is on your left hand side, we have the effect. And then in the right hand side, we have the cause. Okay, we are going to be putting the, the two ideas together uh, using the connectors that we have here. For example, the quality of the air is being lowered. And then we can use maybe as a result of or due to or because of the quality of the air is being lowered 
due to heavy traffic, acid rain, overbuilding, fumes from cars, the lack of recycling or factory waste. Hmm. We have the example done here. The quality of the air is being lowered due to fumes for car. Okay, we have the first done. Now, second, parts are being lost. You have to put it together with a cost. Okay. Tenemos que irlos eh, poniendo juntos. Así como el ejemplo que tenemos aquí, eh, el efecto. Luego utilizamos una de estas palabras, la que mejor se acomode, by, as a result of, due to, through, or because of, y la causa, que haga match ahí. Lo pueden hacer en su cuaderno y luego lo compartir. En la primera ya está hecha como ejemplo, es la que ven acá abajo. The quality of the air is being lowered due to fumes from cars.
finished. Have you finished uh, the exercise, Mario? The, the number two would be parks have been lost through overbuilding. Due to overbuilding. Excellent, Mario. Thank you so much. Now, water. A volunteer to give me the um, sentence for water. Please, Aymara. Water is being contaminated by factory waste. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you for your sentence. That's correct. Thank you so much, please. Uh, landfills. Volunteer. Landfills, landfills are overflowing because of factory waste. Mm, that can be one option. Does anybody have a different one? That's good, Herr Trudis. That's good. Any other volunteer? Landfill? Landfills are being overflowing. Nobody has that one? As is, as is rain. Um, yeah, um, not exactly. <laughs> Anybody else? Landfills. Landfills, and this one we're going to use the present continuous passive, right? The lack of recycle, recycling. Excellent. So the final uh, sentence, landfills are being... Are Mm -hmm. are being overflowing uh -huh. due to the lack of re recycling. Excellent. Thank you so much, Michael. All right. Thank you for that one. Now, next one is forest. Forest. Volunteer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we completed uh, the uh -huh, forest. Mean, forests are being damaged uh, because of the acid rain. Excellent, that's correct. Thank you so much. Um, let's continue with city streets. City streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. As a result of heavy traffic. Excellent, Mario. Thank you so much for your participation. You did an excellent job here with the passive voice, which is one of the last topics of our section number four. Now, to continue, um, well, we're going to let this listening practice later. Now, um, in as a part of a unit number four, we have uh, this conversation. Um, we have been 
discussing about the effect of risk and hazard on the business operations. Um, yesterday, we did a chart for prevention of this kind of risk. So here we have one conversation. But before that, let's see this question number one. You have this conversation on your page number 38. So we have, would the lack of safety measures put operation of business in danger? What could be some effects of? What do you think? I'll give you, uh, let's see, three minutes for you to think on an answer for these two questions. Would the lack of safety measures put the operations of business in danger? Of course, I know you know the answer, but give me also the effects of it. I'll give you three minutes starting now to answer the two questions in exercise number one. We're going to uh, stop for a little while. Um, I just need you to do me a big favor. Uh, remember that we are about to finish our module number two, our intermediate two. And we need to, um, to have your, do, your ID number, your Dewey number and your names. For, and in this way, we're going to check your attendance today. Su asistencia el día de ahora va a ser chequeada de una forma diferente. Eh, solo necesito que me pongan su número de Rui y su nombre en el chat para validar su asistencia el día de ahora a la sesión. En el chat de la meeting, no en el grupo de WhatsApp. Sería en el chat de, de acá, de Zoom. Solo ponen su número de Rui y su nombre. Con eso vamos a validar su asistencia. Y luego seguimos trabajando en la preguntita. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Luis. Thank you, Cristina. Thank you, Aymara, Abigail. Thank you so much, Carla. Thank you, Hazel. Thank you, Carlos, Emilio, and Cecia. Thank you, Magdiel. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Mario and Victor. Thank you, too.
Thank you, Francisco. We are still missing some people. Um, todavía nos faltan algunas personas. Sé que es, quiero ver. Alexis comentaba que está trabajando. No sé si le es posible a Alexis ayudarnos. Y Elizabeth, no sé si ya llegó a su casa también. Para que nos ayude para, para eh, validar su asistencia, chicos. Teacher, ya mandé mi, mi nombre y mi número de Dui. Ah, oh, ok. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, and regards of the questions, um, what do you have? I think that lots of money, for example, lots of money have been paid for workers' compensation for injured workers due to lack of safety uh, rules of safety measures at the workplace. What do you have, volunteers? What do you have? For me, the answer in the first question would the lack of safety measures putting the operations of a business in danger? Of course, right? Of course. <laughs> what do you think? Gertrudis, <laughs> Aymar? Yes, of course. Well, I think uh, they were sued because of an employee died when manipulating have a machinery. I think is uh, a fierce consequences. Yes, yes. That is a very severe consequence that be, it could be one of the effects of the lack of safety measure can lead in the one person to pass away, right? <laughs> yes, very, that's sad, but it's true. Thank you so much, Aymara. Anybody else? What do you think? Yes, teacher. Yes, Abigail? Because uh, some companies use some uh, dangers. And if necessary, um, measures for avoid acting. For example, the company or industry says soup. Uh, they use lejía 
Uh -huh. And it's very, very dangerous for humans. Yes, especially if, if they handle uh, chemicals, right? It's very, very dangerous. Yes, thank you so much. So safety measures are a must. There is not an option, it's a must. Thank you so much for your participation, Abia. Anybody else? No more volunteers? Okay. Thank you so much, ladies. So we're going to continue then with the conversation. Um, this is a conversation as you see, um, there is Gladys and Miguel, they are having a conversation, I think instead of an office, it looks like an office, okay? I'm going to read the conversation for you and then you let me know if you have any questions or doubts about vocabulary or pronunciation. I'm going to read for you and you can repeat at home. Remember that we will keep our microphones mute because we have different internet speeds. So to avoid um, like a, a messy practice, we're going to do it in mute and then you're going to role play in the main sections. We're going to take turns. Okay, I'll start. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued because of an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery. Oh my, that sounds to bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity. A chain of negative effects might be on their way. Loss of customer, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm so relieved we're done with this safety measures manual. Now, we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Okay, questions, vocabulary, pronunciation, any question is important. Mm -hmm. Teacher, uh, sorry, what does mean suit? Uh, demandados. They oh, were okay. sued. Uh -huh. They were sued. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Teacher, how many grams? Land. Oh, what is that word? I can barely glad. hear you. Glad, sorry, glad. I glad, glad is nombre, no. Glad, uh, encantado, encantada. Mm -hmm. Glad, I'm glad. Is there any other question? Okay, guys, thank you so much for your questions. Now, time to role play. Do we have volunteers? You can raise your hands. Volunteers to role play to practice this conversation. Excellent. I have Magdia. Me, teacher. Okay, let's see. I have Magdia, Luis, Aymara, Cristina. Let's start with Magdia and Aymara, you can style, Aymara. Okay, okay, I'm Gladys. <laughs> You're Gladys, um, okay. <laughs> yes. 
I'm glad. We're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of your competitors. They were sold because of unemployed did when money manipulating have heavy machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity and chain of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customer loss of true in the organization and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measures manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Okay, pretty good. Thank you so much, Aymara and Martial. Let's review a couple of words. Uh, the first one is measures. Measures. Let me uh, get the uh, yes. uh, word, teacher, measures here. Many manipulating that word. Um, okay, what yes, I have it here in, notes, <laughs> in my notes. Okay, first one is measures. Measures. And the next one, yes, manipulating. 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 Okay. Manipulating. And, and then assessment. I, hmm? I'm sorry. Assessment. Uh, how do you say? The Money. risk. Assessment. The uh huh. Risk. Assess assessment. Risk. Assessment. assessment. Okay, and the next one I have here is eventually. Eventually, 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 and financial, financial. And the last one is relieved, relieved. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now, would you like to change, switch roles? Yes, please. Martial, you start now. Okay. <clears throat> I'm glad, I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process in the safety measure manual. Measures manual. Uh-huh. Aymara? I'm sorry. Um, I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our comp competitors. They were sued because of an employee died when manipulating, manipulating have machinery. Oh my, uh -huh. that's such bad news and very bad publicity from the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity. A change of negative effect might be on the ter on their way. Loss of customers, loss of trust in their organization, and eventually finan financial loss. Totally. I'm so relieved. We are done with the safety measure as manner. Now, we want to plan its implementation to reduce accident as much as possible. There you go. Very good. Thank you so much, Magdiel and Aymara, for the participation. We Thank appreciate you, it. Thank you so much. And then I had Luis. Okay, I had Luis and who wants to practice with Luis? I volunteer to role play with Luis. Yo había dicho teacher. Okay, Cristina. Thank you so much. You can start, Cristina. Okay. Um, Gladys. Uh huh. I yes. am glad we are well over with the risk assessment assessment process, assessment process and the safety measure manual. 
I couldn't I agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued because of an employee did when manipulating heavy machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity, publicity for the company. Yeah, that's a lot bad publicity. A change of negative effect might be on the way. Loss of customer, loss of true in the organization, and even eventually financial loss. Totally, totally, dijo a teacher. Yo le escuché que no mencionó la T. Totally. Totally, yes. I also relieve where done with the safety measures manual. Now we want to plan in implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Okay, very, very good. Thank you so much. And we're going to review only two words. It's recently. Recently, okay. Recently is like it. recently. And here is heavy. There is a typo here, heavy. Heavy machinery, that's a typo. And the last one is, what is that word? It was reduce. 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 Uh -huh. Yes, reduce. here, it's like the last one. Reduce. Okay. Excellent. Would you like to switch roles? Now, Luis, you start. Hoy le, me toca a Miguel, a mí, vea. Yo le toca a Gladys, a Luis. And that okay. is correct, Cristina. Okay, I am glad we're over with the risk risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I could I couldn't agree more recently and watched some news about one of our competitors. They were to because of an employee. Did when uy, está temblando. When manipulate manipulation or manipul manipulating 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 heavy machinery heavy machinery uh -huh. heavy machinery okay sigue Luis oh my that's such bad news and very bad publicity of for the company. Yeah, let alone bad, pub bad publicity, a chain of negative effect me be on their way. Why away, teacher? Disculpe. Way. Way, okay. Los, si no siempre la voy a decir mal. <laughs> way, loss of customers, loss of trust in the organization and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm sorry, Lived. We are done with the safety measures manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Okay. Thank you for participating. For having permitted to participate. <laughs> now for taking the chance. Gracias, thank teacher. you. And thank you, Luis. Thank you so much. You did a very, very good job. And you have been doing it great, Christina. You've been improving a lot. Thank you so much for your participation, Luis. And uh, I would like to know if there is anybody else who would like to participate. Anybody else who would like to role play? Okay, I have Mario. A volunteer to role play with Mario. Thank you. Abigail, thank you so much. You can start, Abigail. Okay. I girl, we're over with a risk accident assessment process, process and safety measure manual. Mario? Mario, where are you?
Oh, we cannot listen to you, Mario. Tiene mudo el, tele, el, el micrófono. Yeah, I see that he's trying to unmute, but uh, maybe you have to set your... Uh, hola. Yes, we can hear you now. Good. I see. Okay. It's the first one. I couldn't, Miguel. First interaction. I yeah. couldn't. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitor competitor competitor. Mm -hmm. They were sued because of an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery. Machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity. A chain of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customer, loss of truth in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Financial? Financial loss. The diary, I'm so relieved we're done with the Safeti Mission Manual. Now, we want to plan its implementing the Redux action as much as possible. Excellent. Now let's switch. Now you start, Mario. I'm I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I couldn't anger more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued because of an employee that went manipulating her machinery. Oh and my. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity. A chain of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customer, loss of truth in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measures manner. Now we can want to plan in implementation to reduce accident as much as possible. There you go. Very good job. Thank you so much for your participation. Um, there's a couple of words that maybe kind of like eventually, eventually financial loss. Yes, only those two. But you did it great. Is anybody else willing to participate with this role play? No? Me, yeah, teacher. I have Marilyn and Christina. You can start, Marilyn. Okay. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safer emission manual. I couldn't agree, agree, or agree, I agree, teacher. Agree. Agree, con, como que llevar a tilde, okay. Uh, I couldn't agree. I couldn't agree more. Rec recent, recently, dijo, eh? recent, recent. Like what, uh-huh, recently. Recently, I couldn't agree, agree more recently. I watched. Watch some news about one of our competitors. They were to the cause of an employee. They were manipulate, manipulation. Died. Uh -huh. Let's review that part. An employee died. Died when manipulating. Manipulating heavy, heavy machinery. Okay. Oh my, that's so bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let's along bad publicity a chain of negative effect might might be, might be on their way. Loss uh loss of customers, loss of trust 
in the organization and eventually financial loss. Financial loss. Eventually financial loss. Eventually mm -hmm. financial loss. Okay, gracias. I'm so relieved. We're done. Relieved. With, relieved. We're done with the safety measure manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. There you go. Now let us switch roles. Now you start, Christina. Okay. I am glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measure manual. 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 I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched Tom knew about one of our competitor. competitors. Competitors? They were sued because of an employee died when manipulating his machinery. Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. Such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah. Let alone bad publicity. A chain of negative effects might be on the way. Loss of customer, loss of rules in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Total, total, esa palabra, totally, totally. totally you can do it. Totally, I am so relieved. We're done. With the sexy measure manual now, manual. Now we want to plan is X implementation to reduce accident as much as possible. Mm, there you go. Thank you so much, Christina Thank and you. Marilyn. You're doing it great. Right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Christina. All right. Uh, after that, Thank we you. have uh, this. Um, this is an exercise for building vocabulary. This is a matching exercise. We have the words and phrases that describe the effects caused by hazards and risks to their definitions. This is also on page 38. If you want to work on your PDF, let me, uh, let me do a new share here. I think I have it here. Ah, here it is. Okay, you have it on page 38 as well. Remember that if you want to work in the PDF, you just have to click on the text icon here and start matching. We have number one, the word is contamination. Two, casualties. Three, property damage. Four, loss of customers, five, financial loss, six, business interruption. Now, the phrases that describe the effect, machines often break down, the company loses money, customers switch to another provider or business, employee dies in an accident operating a machine, um, that production stops, uh, waste procedures that are handled improperly, scattered to other areas and cause the areas to be closed down. For example, contamination. Contaminations, what do you think much is um, contamination? Machines often break down. Mm, I don't think so. The company loses money. Waste, waste. waste the residuals. Residuals, I think, is the first. Uh huh. So we have number one here. Yes. And you can do the same with the rest of the words. And when you're done, you let me know if you want to share a screen. That would be okay. Remember, it's on page 38 of your PDF material. Let me know when you're done.
I finish. Okay. Would you like to share a screen or you're just going to let us know the answer? In my, in my notebook. <laughs> but I I want to. I take the, the order. Okay. Uh, I can give you the control. <laughs> okay. Okay, there you have the control. You can number them as you have in your notebook. Scroll down, down. Mm -hmm. Cuando pongo el número se me va para abajo. Okay, no worries. <laughs> I will, uh, I will do it for you. Está, so, tiene, tiene que poner, el, seguramente el teclado no tiene bloqueado el, el bloqueo numérico y entonces le funcionan las flechitas. Back. Voy a hacer la separada. I can tell you. Oh, okay, next time. <laughs> okay. The, the first is a third. Number, Number three. three. Okay, property damage is machine of fan breakdown. Okay. Uh, the second is five. Five, financial loss, the company loses money. Okay. Uh, third is four. Four, loss of customer, customer switch to another provider or business. Uh -huh, correct. Uh -huh. uh, next is two. Which is casualty. Employee dies in an accident operating a machine, okay. And uh, next, six. Six, business interruption, the production stops. Okay. Okay, excellent. That's correct, Aymara. Thank you so much for helping us with the answers. And I see the three, five, four. Two, six, one. Yes, Abigail, thank you so much for sharing via WhatsApp. You have the same answers, which are correct. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, let me stop sharing for a little while. Now that we completed this assessing risk, um, as you can see, it's only two pages left and we finished um, the section number four, which is the last one. Um, so I would like for you to let me know if you have any issue with the platform or with the exercises. We're going to go over the section number five, checking all the exercises later. Um, as you may remember in this section, uh, we studied the passive voice, el último que hemos estudiado. Y como para wrap up de la passive voice en el material que estuvimos usando como refuerzo, tenía un ejercicio de listening. Que eh, ahorita lo voy a compartir. Eh, listening. Okay, this is the, the, the listening exercise for the passive voice. Es el tema que hemos estado estudiando. And uh, some of you already know how this works. So um, let's see. Okay, no, it's not a listening. It's a multiple choice. Uh-huh. 
¿Por qué dije era listening? I don't know, but <laughs> multiple choice. So, mm, remember that we studied the passive voice with prepositions and also. Okay, thank you, Francisco. Okay, in the. Um, la vimos en present continuous and present perfect. ¿Recuerdan la estructura? Según las estructuras que vimos, las dos que estuvimos repasando al inicio de la clase. Mm, which of the two options do you think is the correct one? Bird, fish, and other marine life are being harmed by hunting and fishing or are harmed? What do you think? Are being harmed by Okay, excellent, Mario. I'll keep you the remote control for the next one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mario, you have the control remote. Okay. City streets. Oh, passive with preposition. Uh -huh. Are, cuando es, es, acuérdense que va siempre, eh, yes, that is the correct one. The verb be, being, and then damage. That does say okay. If you want to give another try, Si quiere hacer otro intento, yes, you can. No, voy a intentar. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Oils and gas reserves are being used up because of our dependence on cars. Very good. Thank you so much. Um, volunteer for the next one. ¿Alguien quiere el control? Nobody? Yeah. Do you want? Okay, Abigail, let me, let me give you the control. Okay, there you have. Uh, pollution. Uh -huh. Pollution is harming buildings and trees in the inner city. Uh -huh. Es porque ahí está primero el... Um, mm, uh -huh. Pollution is harming. Building centuries, ajá. Sí, para que fuera passive voice, esa, estaba confusa, avisó, don't worry. Eh, para que fuera passive voice, tendría que empezar con el objeto. Sería building centuries are being harmed by, ajá, pero está en voz activa, entonces esa no... Por eso era is harming, porque esa no está en passive voice. But yes, thank you. You want to try the next one, Abby? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> y dudó, <laughs> ya iba para la, la correcta. Yes, yes. recycling, ajá. Y dudó y mis... se fue a la que no era. <laughs> y yo la vi que iba, y saving, yes. <laughs> okay, you can try the next one.
Hmm. Ay, no, teacher Fred, <laughs> uh, Are being developed. Ajá, porque esa empezaba con el objeto. Ajá, new types of car that don't pollute as much are being developed by some of the major car companies. I know this topic has been like uh, combinándolo así es como un poquito más challenging, so don't worry. And uh, let me know, remember, ya estamos terminando la sección 4, que en, en esta estuvimos estudiando la voz pasiva. Eh, si quieren que hagamos más ejercicios, más contenido de la voz pasiva, podría preparar el repaso para el día de mañana. Eh, seguir con Passive Voice. Los temas que hemos visto en este módulo han sido el present perfect, que con ese arrancamos con el present perfect, and then adverb clauses of time. Vimos las cláusulas de tiempo, cláusulas adverbiales de tiempo, las transitions word, que era moreover, nevertheless, y todas esas, si se recuerdan. Indirect questions and requests, que fue el penúltimo tema. Y ahorita que estamos con la passive voice. Entonces, no sé con cuál de esos quisieran comenzar. O si vamos, eh, porque nos quedan tres, cuatro días para repasar. Así es que no sé qué tema de esos es el que les interesa más. Podemos repasarlos todos. O si hay alguno que les sea de más interés, me lo pueden hacer saber. Teacher, in my case, is more necessary passive voice. Passive voice. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Passive. Uh -huh. When uh, when finish in four days. Monday. Ajá, pero y cuando empieza, when start the, the next module. I think uh, after August vacation, like August 7. Ah, okay. O sea, ajá. o sea que ahorita vamos a quedar stop un ratito. Yes, like for a week or a little bit more than a week. Casi dos semanas creo que van a ser. Ajá. Ah, okay, thank you. Yes. Teacher, when we are going to um, finish? What Next day? Monday. Next Monday. Mm -hmm. I would like uh, to see again the topic in direction, in direct question. Uh -huh. in direct. How, how can how you can to change the normal question to indirect question? Okay. Mm -hmm. So yes, I think that those are the topics that uh, so, son los dos tópicos que nos han dado un poquito más de qué hacer <coughs> al final de la semana, porque si les hemos dedicado como una semana a cada uno. Entonces sentí yo que la última semana, el último día de la semana era como que ya, ya habían agarrado la idea, pero pues siguiendo el programa había que hacer eh, cambio de tema. Pero sí, eh, yo creo que solo está de pulir. Y vamos entonces mañana quizás seguir con la Passive Voice, solo repaso. Y luego seguiríamos con la Indirect Request and Questions. Y luego pues ya veríamos con los demás temas. No sé si alguien más tiene algún comentario. ¿Alguien más? ¿Algo otro tema? No. Ok. Um, vamos a ver. Um, voy a buscarles el material a partir de mañana. Y recuerden que cualquier cosa la pueden hacer saber. Eh, lo pueden hacer en el chat. Hay una opción para mandarlo directo, privado. Eh, así que no se queden con dudas o con las ganas de como que hubiera dicho que quería más listening, <risa> hubiera dicho que quería más eh, eh, ejercicios como interactivos. Eh, sí tenemos ciertas limitantes por las cuestiones de derechos de autor y eso, pero 
Um, podemos hacerlo en breakout rooms y si tienen alguna duda, me la hacen saber por WhatsApp para asistirles, porque cuando es material así, no lo podemos proyectar. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh, vamos a encontrar la manera, pero sí, me gustaría que ustedes hagan sus comentarios para yo tener una mejor idea de qué es lo que les, eh, les urge practicar más. Ahorita, pues, es un, muy importante lo indirect request. Si se fijaron en los párrafos que teníamos, eh, en los párrafos iban passive voice, eh, porque a veces no es importante el, el, el sujeto, ¿ok? Sino que lo que está, las acciones, los objetos. Eh, ahorita que, que el tema era como la, la contaminación, lo importante no, no es, es lo que está sucediendo que los árboles, es, uh, bueno, que los bosques están siendo eh, dañados por la lluvia ácida, que las calles están siendo eh, dañadas por el tráfico pesado, lo cual causa accidentes y, y que los carros eh, vayan más seguido al taller, ¿verdad? Y cosas así. Entonces, la voz pasiva se usa mucho en ese tipo de, de, de digamos, textos donde no queremos ser eh, sujetos, sino que queremos enfocarnos en los objetos, en las acciones, en lo que está sucediendo. Y eso también a veces eh, sirve cuando estamos redactando algún reporte en los que no vamos a estarnos mencionando nosotros como, como el foco de atención, ¿verdad? Sino que lo que se está haciendo, lo que se está logrando, dependiendo de cuál sea el tema, ¿verdad? Eh, por ejemplo, ustedes tienen que hacer una presentación y decir cuáles han sido sus logros. Digamos que ustedes trabajan en, eh, en marketing de alguna marca, entonces eh, tal marca ha sido posicionada en el mercado con el uso de tal y tal y tal recurso porque en este tipo de presentaciones no decimos yo yo la manager o yo la, la supervisora he hecho aquí y allá porque se ve feo ¿verdad? Entonces se usa voz pasiva, entonces decimos eh, a través de tales técnicas, la marca ha sido posesionada, la, 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 y ustedes empiezan a hablar ahí y se usa mucho. Así es que nos vamos a seguir enfocando en Passive Voice. Vamos a buscar un tema tal vez más amigable, eh, que la industria también a veces es un poquito eh, complicado el, 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 el vocabulario, que es un poco más técnico. Así es que vamos a seguir tal vez... Eh, un poquito, ya conocemos el medio ambiente, hemos estado trabajando ese vocabulario, puede que sigamos por ahí, o voy a buscar otros recursos también para, empezando el día de mañana. Por ahora, como ya les mencionaba al inicio de la sesión, vamos a terminar con este material, eh, los ejercicios restantes, para poder eh, desarrollar en su totalidad los ejercicios de la sección 4, para lo cual pues necesitamos el vocabulario que hemos estado definiendo. Eh, acá, bueno, pues eh, tenemos, no hay mucho que hacer, pero luego tenemos una lectura que esta nos va a servir, eh, también creo que está en la plataforma, y también por eh, lectura comprensiva es bueno desarrollar estos ejercicios. Let's see our objective here for this reading. And this one is on page 40. That is the last page of our INSAFOR material. And the objective is to identify key information in a passage about a fire escape plan. Mm -hmm. I know that probably in most of our workplace, they have a plan of an emergency plan, what to do in case of a fire, what to do in case of an earthquake, like today. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been like, I don't know how many earthquakes we have so far. But yes, the, I know that there are plans, but do they um, make like refreshers on what to do or they are just posted on the walls? That's most likely. So we have one excerpt about a fire escape plan. Um, we have a practice escaping from every room in the building. That is the first part. I volunteer to read the first part of this paragraph. 
Let me make this bigger for you. Do we have a volunteer to read the first Thank part? Thank you so much. The first part for uh, practice escaping. Practice escaping for every room in the building. Practice escape plans every month. Month. The every month. Plans every month. Uh -huh. The bets. The best plans how to why how to ways to get to get out of each room. If the primary way is blocked by fire or smoke, you will need a second way out, like a window onto an adjacent roof. Also practices filling your way, your way out of the building in the dark or with your eyes closed. Excellent, thank you so much, Liz. Thank you for reading. Um, any other volunteer? Me teacher. Me teacher. Hola. No se oye. Uy. No oigo nada. Okay, Magdiel, thank you. Magdiel. Okay, teacher. Where? Immediately. Where start? Immediately. Immediately leave the place. When a fire occurs, do not waste any time saving goods. Take the safe take the safety exit route. But if you must escape through smoke, remember to crawl low under the under the smoke and keep your mouth covered. The smoke contains toxic gases which can disorient you or, at worst, overcome you. Very important. Very Thank you so much, Abigail. Thank you, Abigail. Never open doors. Never open doors that are hot to the touch. When you come to close a door, when you come to a closed door, use the back of your hand to feel the top of the door. The door now and the crack between the door and door frame to make sure that fire is not on the other side. If it feels hot, use your secondary escape route. Escape route, okay. Thank you so much, Abigail. Thank you. Designate. Okay, I have one raised hand. Abigail Mejia. Uh, it's okay. Christina. Hello, teacher. Uh huh. We can hear you. Sería designate. Designate. Yes, designate. Designate a meeting place outside and pay attendance. Attendance. Or attendance. Uh -huh. Take attendance. They take attendance. Como que dijo? <laughs> take attendance. <laughs> take attendance. O sea, la une, teacher, la une la palabra. Take attendance. Take attendance. Designate a uh, meeting location away, away, away from the building. For example, meet under a um, specific, specific tree or are at the end of the driveway, driveway, or from see the wall to make sure everyone, everyone has good Still, and no one will be or looking for some what is already sex. Okay, uh, one will be hurt looking looking for someone mm -hmm. for someone for someone 
who for is someone. already who is already safe uh-huh okay. yes thank you so much christina thank you thank you teacher once out stay out who wants to continue once out stay out okay mario once out stay out remember to skate first then notify the fire department never go back into a burning building for any reason if someone is missing the firefighter they are equipment perform request safety finally having working smoke alarm installed on very level of the building dramatically in dramatically increases your chances of survival a smoke alarm batteries need to be tested every month and charged with the new ones as less once a year at least once a year mm -hmm. thank you so much for reading now the next exercise remember this is on page 40 of your material and we need to underline the best recommendation in each group about what to do in the event of a fire two of them are not right i'll give you time for you to work on your material let me know when you're ready to share El number one teacher, you the flames. When fire occur, uh huh. Number two.
a volunteer to share? Are you still working? Okay, we can see here you're sharing the screen, Luis. Thank you so much. Let's see, yes, number one, leave the place. Number two, when you come to a closed door, carefully feel the door knob and the cracks of the door for hotness. Yes, excellent. Number three, designate a meeting place as near as the building as possible, away from the building at home. The correct answer, away from the building. Good. <laughs> the number four, before trying to escape. Hmm. Yes, escape without hesitation. <laughs> Excellent. Fire alarms. Pass them every year, mm -hmm. install them on the top and ground levels, mm -hmm. change them every five years. Mm -hmm. Install them on the top and the ground levels for fire alarms, yes. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Thank you so much for sharing this. You did an awesome job. Anybody else have a question? Any question? Or you have the same answers as Luis? Oh, I see here. Elizabeth chart here. Test them every year. Yes, the fire alarms also can be tested every year. Change batteries, yes they have to um, be tested mm -hmm. from time to time. It is important to test them. Very good, Abigail. I see that you shared here in the WhatsApp group, your answers. Yes, you did a very, very good job. Okay, now uh, wrapping up the section four, we are going to... Uh, to make the review, like um, going to the platform and check the exercises. And that's going to be our review of section number four. Starting the exercises. I'm sharing the screen now. And the first exercise that we have here is vocabulary. And this is to select a word that is being defined. A volunteer for this one? Who wants the control remote? Who wants to complete this exercise?
uh, number one consequence dramas that is so serious that is impossible to own them is irreversible dramatic. I can barely hear you, Mario. Can you have the control remote? Can you get it? Okay, so number one, consequence or damage that is so serious that is impossible to undo is reversible damage. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Continue with number two, please. Excellent, Mario. Thank you so much for your help. So you see here, um, for the ones who are pending this exercise, you can um, you can complete it now. Number one, consequence or damage that is so serious that is impossible to undo. The correct answer is irreversible damage. Number two, aim to protect someone or something from a hazardous situation, precautionary. Number three, procedure to prevent something dangerous from happening, safety measure. Number four, likelihood of harm in specific circumstances, risk. Number five, unprotected from something dangerous or unpleasant, that is exposure. If you have not completed this exercise in the platform, this is your very best chance to do it. Thank you so much, Mario. Now, uh, next, volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, Abigail, I'll give you the control remote. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you have it. Number one, teacher has been. Okay. The link has been drawn. Excellent. Thank you so much, Avia. Thank you. Let's review the answer. Um, oh, <laughs> give me one second. I clicked the wrong button. So, okay. Um, let's review. Remember, if you haven't done this one, this is the very best chance to solve it. Have, I have finished the job. Uh, in passive past, the job has been finished by me. Number two, the cat has drunk the milk. The milk has been drunk by the cat. 
Number three, the girls have plucked the flowers. The flowers have been plucked by her. Four, I have watched that movie. In passive voice would be, that movie has been watched by me. Then number five, the active sentences. Peter has broken another window. In the passive is another window has been broken by Peter. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. En algunos casos es bien fácil de identificar el objeto. Quizás por eso esto sale más fácil. Porque en algunos ejercicios lo confunde a uno. Uh, yes, I see your point. And yes, many people have uh, been having troubles identifying the object. Eh, sí veo que es un poquito eh, difícil para algunos identificar los, los objetos. Entonces eh, voy a buscar eh, más ejercicios eh, similares a estos en donde vayamos haciendo juntos la, eh, el, el, eh, identificando el, el objeto. Lo voy a tomar en cuenta para el repaso de mañana. Vamos a... a a ver, de alguna manera tenemos que um, identificarlo más fácilmente. Ahorita no veo muy bien cómo, cómo a dónde está, a dónde está que podemos eh, fallar identificando el objeto. Entonces, este, eh, voy a revisar mañana qué encuentro para, para saber cómo identificar el objeto. Y nos vamos a enfocar un poco en eso. Porque sí me he dado cuenta que a veces sí lo encuentran bien fácil, pero a veces no. No sé de qué dependerá. Pero mañana vamos a practicar más esto. Gracias por sus comentarios. Y de verdad que me ayuda mucho. Así yo me enfoco más en, 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 en ejercicios como esto. Pues ya que me dicen, me cuesta identificar el objeto. Yo sé que no mucho les cuesta como eh, la estructura, pero sí en lo del objeto. Y gracias por mencionarlo. Um, okay, uh, volunteer for the next one. Okay, oh, this is a conversation uh, that we practice. Remember this conversation? Vamos a ver si la recuerdan y si no, pues ahí está en chiquitito. Uh, volunteer to complete this exercise. Uh, vi que Francisco ya estaba de regreso, espero que todo bien. Ah, me dejan saber quién quisiera eh, ayudarnos con este ejercicio. Any volunteer? Yes, teacher. Yo puedo ayudar. Okay, Francisco, I'll give you the remote control. And for the next exercise, we will have Mario. Today is Francisco's turn. Okay, oh, sorry. Okay. Um, there is the conversation. Ahí está la conversación. Puede leerla. Y si está muy chiquita, ahí la puede abrir en una ventana externa para volverla a leer la conversación.
Okay, now if you share up your answers, you can click MDR or send. Excellent. Thank you so much, Francisco. Okay, good job. As you can see here, um, here we have the answers. Um, and you can complete them along with us. What items is Joel looking for? The answer was his safety goggles. Number two, what is the new safety measure about? The new safety measure will have employees wear safety gear and sort tools in proper locations. Number three, examples of equipment in a construction, rubber boots, reflective vest, and helmet. And number four, what's the purpose of the safety plan? Is to prohibit scattered tools outside the tool room. Excellent. Thank you so much, Francisco. Remember, for the ones who are still Thank you, teacher. spending this, you can complete them along with us. And uh, for the next exercise, we will have Mario helping us. Past and for is. <laughs> Excellent, Mario. Thank you so much for your help with this exercise. For the ones that are working right now with these exercises, you can see the answers here. Number one, have been disorganized. Two, has not been informed. Three, has been interested. Four, had been taught. And that's it. Let me know if you need time. If you are working on the platform. In this one, we have to select the best option and it is related to passive voice. Is there any volunteer to complete this one? Francisco, I'll give you the remote control again. And there you are. Um, let's go back to the first one. En la primera vi que yo que chequeó una, pero después vi otra que no. Quizás ahí se movió. Se yes. movió, Ticha. Sí, se movió. Sí. Me había uh -huh. puesto correcto. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, me di cuenta. Dije, yo será que vi mal. Pero yes. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much, Mar uh, Francisco, thank you for helping us with this exercise. Now let's review. Okay. Uh, review here. So remember, number one, have been written. Number two, has the parcel been received? Number three, being accepted. 
Number four has been no. And number five has been worn. When you continue here clicking, estos son los ejercicios eh, ya luego de los ejercicios, si le dan next, eh, ya quedan en el examen final. Eh, espero que puedan trabajar en su plataforma los que aún están pendientes porque creo que menos de la mitad han terminado con éxito ya los ejercicios de la plataforma. Necesitamos que todos estemos al día para evitar eh, cualquier tipo de inconveniente con respecto personal, a sus ejercicios. Perdón, uh -huh. En lo personal, yo ahora terminé, incluso me, me estaban ahí recordando que estaba pendiente. Uh -huh. Ok, ya, muchas ya, ya gracias por... Uh -huh. Ok, gracias por ponerse al día, por... Eh, eh, tomar en cuenta las eh, indicaciones, ¿verdad? Y para los demás, eh, recuerden que cualquier duda, inconveniente, tienen que notificarlo eh, con, con tiempo, ¿verdad? Si tienen algún problema para ingresar a la plataforma, eh, también notifíquenlo para poderles ayudar, porque ya para estas fechas ya debería estar todo completo. Incluso el examen final. Eh, pero igual, bueno, si tienen algún problema, háganlo saber. Si tienen alguna duda también, porque para eso estamos, para ayudarles. Lo pueden hacer vía chat, en el vía WhatsApp group, o lo pueden hacer directamente eh, conmigo, siempre y cuando sea un tema del, del, eh, de los, um, del contenido. Porque si es algo técnico, <ríe> ahí sí no puedo. Tendría que ser en el, en el grupo, nada más que ahí están también los, los técnicos que nos ayudan con la plataforma. Eh, y bueno, sin más, eso sería todo. Mañana empezamos los repasos. Vendríamos con Passive Voice y luego los Indirect Requests. Si hay algún otro tema de su interés, me lo pueden hacer saber durante el transcurso de la mañana que voy a estar preparando eh, la clase. Y espero que tengan un buen descanso. Thank you so much for joining today. See you tomorrow. See you, teacher. See you Good tomorrow. night. Thank you very much, teacher. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. Sleep well. Be safe.